for today. The topic is the Metropolitan Council, an update, and we're talking to Councilman Walter Hunt uh, from District 3 of the uh, Metropolitan uh, Davidson County uh, Council. And of course, uh, uh, Walter uh, Hunt, uh, Councilman Hunt, uh, let's see if we can pick up where we left off the last time because I think you gave us an excellent overview of uh, some of your experiences and now we find that you are, uh, represent District 3 in the uh, Metropolitan Council. Tell us how that all happened and let's talk about the council itself. Well, you know, after having so much experience and talking to so many people, there was an opportunity for me to run uh, in the 3rd District, which is the most northern part of uh, Davidson County. And we were able to be very successful uh, in that particular race. Mm -hmm. And you'll find that there's almost like two sides of council business mm -hmm. that we take care of. Uh, one's in the community and the other one's in the, the council itself. Mm -hmm. But I want to talk about what goes on in the community first, because I think that's very, very important. Good, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that I learned when I was on the federal level is that you got to respond to people. And I was trying to figure out uh, how do I respond to people in the numbers, in great mm -hmm. numbers, and not miss anybody, mm -hmm. and try to do a quality job in those responses. Mm -hmm. Then I thought about what we were doing on the federal level, so I implemented what we call the district website, mm -hmm. which is www nashvilledistrict3.com. Mm -hmm. Now, on that website, my constituents in the third district can talk to me 24-7. Yeah. Uh, they can talk to me 3 o'clock in the morning. Of course, I probably won't get it until yeah. about 7 8 the <laughs> next right. day because mm -hmm. I'll be asleep. Mm -hmm. But you got an, uh, a, a page in there where you can put all your comments on there mm -hmm. and put your, the identifying addresses mm -hmm. and all that information and just hit submit and it comes right to my house. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then once I get it, then I'll start processing it right away, mm -hmm. and then I get a rapid response. Mm -hmm. So I can handle a lot of cases mm -hmm. coming from my constituents in a mm -hmm. short period of time. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the whole idea, is trying to be responsive to your constituents' needs. Mm -hmm. That's one side of the, the council responsibilities, because in the district, you will find that there are developers that's wanting to build things mm -hmm. in the district. You'll mm -hmm. find uh, codes coming in and mm -hmm. enforcing the, the cleanliness. Mm -hmm. uh, there's all kinds of things going on mm -hmm. in the district all the time. Mm -hmm. And so those are direct needs that the people see Good. that needs to be solved. Mm -hmm. So you got to really take that special. Now, when you get on into the council, Good other than the people who watch Channel 3, mm. a lot of people won't really know what's going on in the council yes, until they read it in the newspaper, or somebody's talking about it, as, as, unless it's a controversial issue, mm -hmm. like the English First Bill we All just right. had. Mm -hmm. uh, we got another bill up there, and I'll talk about that a little later, uh, the Western Hotel. Mm -hmm. We got the ballpark coming in, mm -hmm. and of course we got the proposed convention center mm -hmm. that's also coming in. And all those are really controversial type issues mm -hmm. because you're always going to have the pros and cons of those issues. Mm -hmm. Some will like some people will like them, some will not like Good. them. Mm -hmm. And then that's when it gets really, really serious. But that's all dealt with in the council. But we try to listen to what the people are saying about it. Good. Because usually when you have a very controversial issue, mm -hmm. people will call you and email you and mm -hmm. they, will they will allow you to understand how they are thinking. Okay, good. And that, uh, that's a big factor. Mm -hmm. uh, in this business, I learned that there's two types of groups out there on controversial issues. Mm -hmm. There are the noisy minority, mm -hmm. and there's the silent majority. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you won't hear from the silent majority on the front end. You mm -hmm. tend to hear from them on the back, back end. end. <laughs> but you're going to hear from that uh, noisy minority right Not away. <laughs> yeah, right away. Good. And that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. It shows you that those people are really paying attention. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they, uh, they're voicing their choices and their feelings about it which I think is good because it helps us mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. see which way. And that's why you public. represent them. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have mm -hmm. to listen to them. Mm -hmm. and, and I try to uh, listen to what my constituents are saying mm -hmm. and, and, and accommodate them based on what they're saying. 
because uh, you, you really got some sensitive issues mm -hmm. out there and you got to mm -hmm. consider everybody's feelings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate, like any other competition, there's going to be winners and there's going to be losers. Mm -hmm. But it's nothing personal, so you just have to do what you think is right. Mm -hmm. And that point in time, I try to use my head and what the people are saying mm -hmm. and try to make the correct call mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the benefit and the betterment mm -hmm. of the city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No one individual. Because mm -hmm. we all have to live in this city, and I think that when we make those decisions, it should be the mm -hmm. city and the quality of life and all of that should be taken into consideration. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the uh, <coughs> uh, issues I think uh, is very, very important, and I think you've already mentioned it, and I think in a real sense by uh, speaking to this issue, you can also bring in some uh, uh, reference in reference to the uh, uh, hotel and the convention and et cetera. And that's the ballpark. Uh, you know, I think that we've become uh, really a sports uh, city in a real sense and et cetera. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the council's uh, attitude in reference to the ballpark and what, what do you see uh, that might be done in reference to that? Okay, I can tell you the council's attitude as well as mine. Mm -hmm. We don't mind, I think those kind of venues are good for the city, and we don't mind Nashville going after those kinds of venues. But if they have to go after them without the expense of the constituents. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I really have a problem building big venues mm -hmm. with taxes from the citizens Mm -hmm. and you have a large percentage of the citizens that's never going to see the inside mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. So we have to start financing those kind of venues mm -hmm. and buildings in some other manner, and I think that's what is happening with the ballpark. The mm -hmm. city, as I understand it, will be contributing some part of the funding, mm -hmm. but there will be more toward maintenance. Good. Mm -hmm. It will not be toward the building, and mm -hmm. they have a, what they call about a $43 million package that this stadium is going to call, uh, cost, mm -hmm. and that uh, funding is supposed to be in place before they make ground. Yeah. They ran a little short. They over, over extended their deadlines on one mm -hmm. it, uh, one at one period, and so the council had to give them an extension mm -hmm. in order to uh, get the deadline back in focus. So okay, well, mm -hmm. I tell you, let's let's uh, hold it right mm -hmm. there, uh, uh, Councilman Hunt. Uh, and take this second commercial break after which we'll come back and we'll allow you to uh, continue that because I think you're talking about something that people are interested in. Mm -hmm. And of course, we'll be back with you following this very, very short commercial break. <laughs> 